the upcoming 30th Southeast Asian Games will now feature esports as an event. And the Philippines will give its best shot to bring home the bacon with Sibol, the country's national esports team. Carlo Pamintuan has the rest of the story. For the first time in history, esports will be a medal event in the 30th Southeast Asian Games. And to give the Philippines the best shot at winning as many goals as possible, Sibol, the national esports team, was founded. Born out of the Philippine Olympic Committee, tasking the Philippine Southeast Asian Games Esports Union, Seaball will be competing in the six titles featured, including Dota 2, StarCraft 2, Hearthstone, Arena of Valor, Mobile Legends, and Tekken 7. And thus, the Philippine Southeast Asian Games Esports Union has partnered with Razer, a popular name in the international esports scene. So since then, we have been helping Fiscal. Uh, as well as Philippines and all other important countries to really kickstart the most important of the infrastructures like federations, the NSA for the eSports. So at the same time, we're also helping them from both financially and of course raising gears to support, to get them ready for qualifiers. Several outstanding Filipino eSports athletes will be directly invited into the team's training pool and they will be joined by individuals who will be victorious in the upcoming Open Qualifiers open to any Filipino aged 13 years and above. The qualifiers for Dota 2 Hearthstone and StarCraft 2 will be on August 10 and 11, while Mobile Legends will happen on August 14 to 16. Arena of Valor and Tekken 7 qualifiers will be held on August 17 and 18. Maybe other people from other bigger countries are probably expecting, you know, this small little country called the Philippines to fail, no, but this is sports. We know what we're doing. We will not let our countrymen down, sir. The pool of around 74 players will be trimmed down to just 27 members, seven each for Dota 2, Mobile Legends, and Arena of Valor, and two each for StarCraft 2, Hearthstone, and Second 7. We actually are asking for the help of uh, private companies uh, to reach out to us, uh, Signal and TV5, if they do want to help Seaball. Carlo Pamintuan for One Sports, we are One News.